Hello everybody. A very good evening to everybody out there. So while others join, um, let's uh, quickly come to a few questions and then we'll begin the session. Okay. So how many of you find that parenting is becoming more challenging uh, in these times? And uh, what are the concerns of the parents, especially with toddlers? And why are they so concerned with the screen time these days? Hello. Thank you for joining everybody. And uh, also a very important question, especially during the lockdown and the children who were born during the lockdown. Now they are full grown toddlers, as we all know. So, uh, so has the routine or the development of the children has been impacted during uh, due to this um, screen time in the lockdown area era so while others join just one more minute and then we'll begin just keep pondering on these questions and today in this live we'll be covering um, what happens in the brain during sc excessive of screen time and how can I reduce the screen time of my child thirdly how to decide how much time screen time is too much of screen time what is the recommended age as per um, AAP that is American Associations of Pediatrics and WHO World Health Organization for the children and why is cyber safety important and what can we do about it to ensure our child is safe in this digital era okay so quite a few people have joined so let me begin so first of all let me begin uh, with the definition of a person who is called a toddler so toddler is the one who toddles it's, it's, it has come from the term the person who toddles toddles means who still hasn't got a great balance in the body and um, still toddles and uh, walks um, which we find sometimes funny but a toddler is that and from zero to one the stage is called infancy and one onwards there has been a contradiction from one to three years who is saying they are toddlers and some people uh, some associations they consider um, one to four years or five years also as toddlers while some say they are from three to five they are preschoolers so we the definition vary as per the organizations but we are taking uh, especially uh, the first thousand days of life that is zero to three years yeah that is true that it is a main concern of parents these days absolutely so um, be let's begin as in what are the needs especially during the first thousand days of the of a child's life that is approximately three years the first three years they are basically physical needs emotional needs social emotional needs sensory needs and language development language de development as we know that the child uh, start li is listening to everything going around and especially in these three years a ch child learns as many languages as he has been exposed to in these initial years with utmost ease what does it mean as in the child's brain is having millions of connections every second a toddler's brain and the development is humongous in especially in this um, initial stage of the child's life now if we introduce the screen in these years okay in these years as in from zero to three especially i'm talking about if the screen is introduced to the child then what will be the impact because the needs are different like physical need no cognitive no it's not leading to any uh, thinking or something emotional and social needs no and language development 
still a contradiction because some parents think that my child is learning great language skills through screen and sensory and motor skills we'll come back to that and sensory and motor skills no because the child is sitting in front of the screen and enjoying so there is no movement which a toddler needs the, the it is a requirement of the body of a toddler and also motor skills the gross motor and fine motor it is also absent it's just the clicking of remote that is it the movement of the thumb isn't it so keeping in mind all these needs of a toddler we are not giving any 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 scope through the screen and um, if the researchers have to be um, believed if uh, we go according to the researches the children who are found to be on the screen for a longer time i'm talking about the children uh, the toddlers like 5 to 6 hours the research has been done on the ones who are on phone for a, for, uh, since very uh, as in since early since infancy or one year of age and then moving on so the researchers have shown that uh, the gray matter which is there in our brain it shrinks the children who are exposed to too much of screen in the initial years the gray matter of the um, brain it shrinks and the gray matter is basically responsible for all the executive functions planning decisions prioritizing all thinking stuff so when that is shrinking it is and the development which is there in this part especially in these years it is for life the language the child learns is for life the skills the child learns is for life because it is the age of movement and exploration and experimenting with your whole body not just through your eyes thank you um, so together um, introduction uh, so if we say the addiction is associated with uh, structural and functional changes in the brain regions involving emotional processing also executive attention as in lack of attention and um, decision making problems arise and cognitive control also so cognitive control as in the child is not able to decide the child is not able to think what next what for is going to be for their further so all these things and so they, uh, with the screen with a lot of screen at that particular time the children are having sensory overload sensory means the senses the five senses we have so all only the eyes are being used and all those things going in the brain the child is having a sensory over stimulation and sensory overload also uh, a hyper aroused nervous system regardless of diagnosis and which is called electronic screen syndrome a new term has been coined for this and sometimes these children the ch uh, as in with um, exposure with a lot of amount of time these children are becoming impulsive moody and they are having a lot of difficult time in paying attention so these are all the things which are impacting our children the children we cherish the children who are the most important asset we have the children the uh, the children whom we can do anything yeah so if we know the consequences of um, giving a screen to a child then it will be very very difficult for us to let the child go in that direction isn't it if we tangibly see a child doing something wrong or harming himself then we automatically we stop the child isn't it when we stop the child for that the tangible thing which we can see then why can't we for the things which are going in the brain i am also a strong supporter of self love and also uh, supporting uh, mental health of parents also but there are different things which uh, we can give to the child apart from screen so if we are there um with the with, if the child is there with the screen and um, uh, now um let me just first tell you what is the recommended age recommended time by the um, by who and uh, aap and after that we'll move on okay i'll also uh, address the parents 
uh, with this as in what all they can do and how if the child is already there too much into screen what all um, things they can do to help the child so who um, as i mentioned the world health organization they recommend they say from 0 to 2 years it's an absolute no for the children the screen and aap the american Associ uh, association of um, pediatrics they have compromised as in since that it is lockdown era and everything so from 18 months onwards the child can be exposed to the video calls the video calls because only the video calls not anything else no cartoons rhymes or stories anything or games so the reason is 0 to 2 no screen or 18 months onwards uh, the screen can be given uh, just for video calls why video calls is an exception because in that the child is not passive and video call also in the supervision of someone who is there so we are just uh, not being passive in the video call format and uh, the child is actually interacting with someone so interaction is very very important in this case and uh, if with the support as in if uh, i am a child i am a toddler and someone is talking to me in, uh, through the video call i can um, respond someone is talking to me and addressing me while when the child is passively seeing the cartoons or rhymes anything then the child is just sitting in front of the screen taking in everything and is not able to um as in the, because the child is not um, expected to give something in return to the screen is not uh, expected to um, respond to the screen is just seeing so that is called a passive screen time while the active screen time i'll discuss next all right so uh, with this from 2 to 5 years of age it is recommended that one hour or less should be given so one hour or less and 0 to 2 no screen time and 18 months onwards a little amount of video calling with the people the child knows the people who are absolutely important to you and uh, due to the lockdown or um, uh, the immobility or so you can't see those people but they are absolutely of absolute importance to you so that is great now um, moving on to further things uh, for 2 to 5 years again i like i said one year uh, one um, hour every day or less because and that should be high quality programs as in um, the pixels should be good and parents should view the media before giving it to the child the child whatever the child is seeing the parents should be aware what the child is seeing and what content is there in this um, rhyme or story also uh, whenever the child is seeing that the parent should Uh, that is called active uh, screen time when the child is uh, sitting and the parent is also discussing about the crime discussing about the uh, story which is the child is seeing and also correlating also with the current life oh you saw this in this book or we have gone to this place we did this so the child is not passive there so he is interacting with the parent and also uh, that is um, Uh, the the child is thinking over there and recalling the past experiences and uh, things now uh, for 6 to 12 years um 4 to 5 hours because of online classes and everything but again consistent time limit should be there and time spent on the media and uh, the screens um should be limited and under parental supervision again because um and the, uh, just to make sure that uh, the screen is not uh, hampering the child's sleep or physical activity and other behaviors essential to the chi child's health then 12 years of age again um, designate a media free uh, time in your home where a common place where the com in the common place both parents and the child they are not bringing their gadgets to that place and they have a they are having a healthy quality time and quality time is not just about asking it's talking so parents and children they are talking to each other rather parents are just asking the child so quality time is that and uh, in this era like uh, we are also using so much of gadgets and technologies and uh, 
as the saying goes monkey see monkey do and the child is copying us and all these things the things which is also true so more than there is a quote more than screen obsessed young children we need to cater to the more tuned out parents we are physically present here but a child is showing us something or um, wants to play with us or telling us something and we are just scrolling up and down on the social media or just messaging and yeah we are just acknowledging yeah uh, that is so great good that is it sometimes we are not even doing that because we are so much engrossed into um, our own gadgets which is actually impacting our call, our bond our quality time with the child and the child is seeing that um, okay i am not being um, as in uh, when i am saying something i am not being um, heard properly nobody likes like if i come to you and you are just uh, scrolling in your phone and um, i have to tell you something i will not like it and maybe next time i will not come to you to share about things which i would like to isn't it so please start giving some quality time to the children and when the child comes if the a task is not of at most importance at that particular time please refrain from using the gadgets in and around the toddlers especially because they are uh, just being exposed to the family right now and whatever we are doing they will automatically start doing that so model the behavior you want them in the later life with the act there was an activity which we did as in the, there are two types of games uh, online so one is 2d game other is 3d game so 2d game is uh, like a crossword or scrabble 3d games are the ones which uh, which are very high reflex games like uh, we are accustomed to as in we all uh, know about subway surf temple run and pubg and assassin creed all these high end 3d games what they do is they make you the character and you have to save yourself so what happens is there is so much release of um, dopamine the dopamine is the pleasure hormone so the the, the chemical sorry the uh, so there is so much release of that and then what happens um, if we uh, limit it to 10 minutes today and next day we will want it to do more then like this the screen time starts increasing so 3d games especially for children under 12 is a complete no and it is harmful for everybody basically because they are very high reflex games and the people who have been uh, playing these uh, as in the adults also those who have been playing these for a long time they are also again Uh, uh as in their gray matter is also again shrinking they are becoming more of forgetful people and um, they are having difficult difficult time in concentrating and also when um, some uh, when children play these their movements their things which require little patience um it is diminishing like reading reading is the most impactful thing over here because uh, their brain is um, accustomed to such high reflexes that coming to reading the black and white print it's becoming very difficult for them reading then they start eating fast because their brain is now uh, the the brain activity the activity in the brain is at very high speed so um the screen rotation and also transition ratio is also very fast and demand speed thinking rather than very um rather than very high reflexes only involve motor muscles of your eyes and doesn't involve thinking so we think that our brain is becoming sharper or we are um uh, as in um, looking um, we are becoming brighter uh, by playing all these games but uh, we are using some strategies but that is our misconception that actually very um dangerous for our brain across age groups what you can do is you can also do this exercise for 10 minutes play a 3d or high reflex game and then after uh, playing start reading a, a book or a newspaper the print it you will have a have a difficult time in reading for sure then um, it also um, again and the gray matter just as uh, uh, sp- spoke about and process information in the brain uh, processing information it becomes very um, as in disturbed and which can even lead to the diseases uh, 
like alzheimer depression and post traumatic stress disorders in later life and also we, like we all know that there are cases now in uh, mental health industry for childhood depression why the reason being this uh, that uh, the children are now so not socially included they are spending more times on the screen that is why it is leading to childhood depression the child being uh, feeling left out or the child is not um, trying to um, you can say uh, take um, uh, imp the impulse control is such the impulses are such that the child is even if the parents are telling not to do it or uh, don't um, spend so much time the child is not able to control so it also uh, attacks um, uh, attention span it hijacks the attention span which we require for different things then um, uh, it also then uh, again start uh, affecting the studies because attention span becomes very very less especially when it's uh, uh, introduced in the early years of age and then um, early years screen time also um, ability uh, reduces the ability to control your impulses impulses as in the child is not able to think what is right for me what is wrong the parent has said uh, okay switch off the uh, tv or mobile phone after two minutes or five minutes the child doesn't want to do the the impulsivity is such that the child will go against the parents leading to ta tantrums meltdowns all those things because the impulses are such that the child even as adults some if someone ask us to leave uh, uh, to stop using the phone or the laptops the thing which we are finding pleasure in then we also don't want to do it that is the thing with the screen and whatever it is releasing in our brain and it's again the the very important point at this stage that it reduces empathy why empathy i am saying because there are two types of communications one is verbal communication another is another is non verbal communication so empathy is reduced when because if the child is looking at the screen so uh, looking at the screen the child is just seeing the emotions of the characters that is it there are no non verbal cues but looking at the human faces talking to humans we have we don't say everything there are some verbal cues and non verbal cues when we are upset we are in pain we don't tell sometimes but some the other person can see it from our face and get to know about it but what is happening there the a skill of reading non verbal cues the facial expressions it is diminishing diminishing because the child has not been exposed to and the years in which that non verbal uh, communication develops it the child has spent that major time in the screens which might affect the later on uh, relationships also because in a relationship when a person is in a relationship or uh, with a colleagues or co-workers then everything you don't say sometimes you see the person's face also and sometimes the people they th uh, they think that uh, why should i speak everything that let the other person see and gauge that i am not happy but that uh, other person is not capable of enough of that so all these things they are not just for toddlerhood or the childhood part they leave an impact for the entire life and if the screen time persists to be beyond the um, prescribed time limit then the child is bound to have sleep problems lower grades in schools reading fewer books that like i said that it impacts reading because the brain reflexes are such high that reading doesn't bring bring pleasure to the child then less time with family and friends obesity and mood problems mood swings poor self image and body image fear of missing out and less time learning other ways to relax and have fun what they are seeing that whenever we are bored we uh, are not uh, doing any recreational thing or creative thing or thing which we find um, uh, you can say um, pleasure in so whenever we are bored or we whenever we are tired we just turn on our screens and scroll through the child is observing that and um, uh, sometimes when we are busy we also give the screen to our ch children i absolutely agree that now the uh, families are nuclear families and uh, there have been um, both the parents are working sometimes in few um, of the families 
and we don't have time um, enough time or we have a uh, we both have this um, scheduled meeting at the same time so what should a child do at that time so the child at that particular time first of all you can introduce um, the open ended toys open ended means the creative things which a the, the creative toy the uh, toys which brings out the creativity in the child which uh, can be used in any way like uh, blocks or uh, magnetiles or clay so all these things they are open ended toys because a child child's creativity is, should come out in that secondly after 2 years of age if it's an um, it's a meeting that you don't want um, if if you don't have a as in uh, any other support or help and you want the child to at least sit because we know that the children sit throughout when the screen time is there so they don't disturb us at that particular time because it's so engaging the children love colors and movements so what you can do is first of all you can um, uh, pre download and pre watch the content which you want you have a meeting so just plan ahead in time as in what you want the child to see in that um, particular time also the the content should be watched by you it should be pre downloaded why pre downloaded i am saying because um, there are auto plays op play options in the youtube and uh, if you even type a keyword there are n number of things which are popping up uh, which might be appropriate or not appropriate for the child also um, there are a uh, few search engines which we aren't aware of which we are not using for our children like um, there is youtube kids specifically which ask your child's age and uh, name and then you can show the child on that so that the recommended um, playlist or auto play doesn't lead to something embarrassing in front of the child also uh, turn off the um, whatsapp auto download in your phone why because we sometimes we don't we are not aware what all things are coming in our um, phones through various groups and we don't have to be embarrassed in front of a child um by so the, the child is seeing something inappropriate and um so it's a better option to be safe and you know what all is there in your phones so that there is no accident in that way next we can what we can do is the things which we um, have asked the child to see in, in that prescribed time if the, you are allowing the screen time then uh, you can have a healthy discussion about that uh, video about that rhyme anything uh, wh whatever you are showing whichever you have um, chosen to show the child at that time then what okay you saw the, some uh, red cars in the video and which all color cars were there or anything so that the child is mindfully watching and if the, it is the norm that when the child is having the screen time and you are asking or not even asking talking about the rhyme or story the child is mindfully looking at it that uh, we need to we will have a conversation regarding it and um, then uh, there are some screen rules uh, so that the impact on your uh, on the child's eyes is not much the screen rules first of all the rule of distance so five times of the screen size is the optimum uh, say five times of the screen size if the phone screen is 6 inches then 6 into 5 at that amount of uh, distance but uh, the screen uh, is smaller and we can't actually see 30 um, properly 30 um, inches away from the phone so avoid using phones because first of all phone again is a very small um, device which um, if the child uses uh, for a long time and for um, uh, for one or two years a couple of years might lead to stunted growth in the eyes it has been proven also um, bigger the screen better it is so try to give um, the uh, video or game whatever you are giving the um, rhyme in the uh, laptop or bigger screen of the tv 
and angle of the screen because uh, the angle uh, laptop angle we or even the phone's angle we try to uh, bend it according to our convenience which is again leading to many health problems cervical pains and improper posture and the bones of the child is developing in that area so try that um, the child is sitting in an appropriate posture while having the screen time and um, some common problems again like parents say that the child doesn't eat food without the screen or the child if i take the screen away the child becomes hyper and um, the child sneaks in to get the gadget or sometimes lie also to uh, make false promises just to get the screen so what we can do in these cases is start slow if you are attending this live and you start you know that um, there are very very uh, dangerous um, repercussions of using screen so start slow no don't take the screen at once start slowly reduce start reducing the time if the child is using or if the child is beyond two you can just put a timer physical timer or uh, an alarm clock uh, or an hour glass even if the child is uh, able to see uh, the numbers or recognize the numbers you can put the clock and um, in the clock you can just tell of the big, big when the big hand comes or number 3 you please turn on the uh, turn off the tv or the phone whatever the child is using so these are the simple tips and tricks what you can do to remind the child to remind the child 2 2 minutes in advance that uh, okay the screen time is get about, about to get over and just quickly finish it and we'll do this this activity let the child look forward to something else after the screen yeah sure i'll upload this on my uh, page after this also um, if the child is too habitual in of or of eating while having uh, the with phone while uh, eating food the child is habitual of having the phone in front then start slow again instead of uh, just start with one meal at a time don't put the phone away for all the meals start with one meal at a time and make that meal interesting you can change the setting you can make some um, great as in uh, you can garnish the food make it look more presentable so simple steps for a couple of weeks they will um, surely lead the child to uh, start stop using the screen you can also start having a conversation around the meal time so because the child they love having a conversation a genuine conversation with us when uh they need us uh, and they need us even more because and uh, they love it when the parent comes to play with them because the body need is uh, attachment at this current age attachment so human attachment human interaction is of the utmost importance and uh, when uh, it's becoming too much divide uh, your day into four parts physical engagement and um, academic engagement entertainment entertainment engagement and informative en- engagement so physical engagement for as parents we also need to um, be little proactive in making um, the child do some physical activities physical tasks and we can also do it with them they will love and enjoy it and if you don't have time you can put some uh, aerobic exercises or zoom by anything on the um, screen a uh, bigger screen so that the child can come and copy and do those things so that the phys- the energy which is there in the child it finds its way because the toddlers we know how much energy they have and the, that energy is there to for movement then academic engagement if you want if the child is of school age the preschooler age then um set a uh, routine a routine where the child is um sitting at a particular time and knows that what is expected out of the child early morning we'll get up and we'll um uh, freshen up or ch- take a bath anything and then we'll study uh, for online classes we'll sit and do this so have a routine fixed and the child is predict as a predictable time that because children they love routine and uh, they work well when they are in routine so they know that when i have to get up in the morning i have to do all these tasks and chores and the time also they know then it will be a better thing entertainment engagement again from 3d 
if the child is too much into 3d games because sometimes the parents also take um, as in pride in saying that my two year old or three year old they know how to um, man the how to handle the phone how to manage the laptop and everything but what they are seeing the content they are doing the posture they are in the screen exposure they are having it's not recommended so a star if the child is too much into 3d games then uh, because they are very very harmful uh, till the age of 12 especially beyond that also they are harmful but while the brain is forming it, they are quite harmful so gradually shift the focus to the 2d games first 2d games as in um, the scrabble or free flow or sudoku anything which the parent is also playing with them and the parent is also excited with them so child again the young child a toddler who needs parents for everything they will love that oh my parent is spending this particular time with me and they are interested in what i am interested in right so 2d games and then eventually we can go to the board games also and encourage board games like um, ludo monopoly carom chess and there are so many uh, board educational board games also these days like safari and um, n number of them because and uh, okay so uh, i am not totally against this for toddlers 3 to 4 years old also they need social interaction and uh, especially during this lockdown time we have lesser of social interaction so um, the children they love to inter- they, it is a inborn need that we have to um, bond and we have to communicate uh, and be friend the people of our age so you can go ahead with the um online meetings with the children through zoom or whatsapp call anything for 3 plus preschooler age sorry and um because unicef uh, if i see the report unicef um, says that the children who participate in more in online activities tend to have better digital skills compared to those who engage in fewer activities okay children like Three plus, okay, not uh, less than that. This means that parents should facilitate uh, rather than hinder children's internet. As in, we don't, sh- we should not. We should first see what the child is doing, what the child wants. We can sit with them and also make them aware what of what all things are going on in this. what how you have to go about it because of the digi- cyber security also because there have been digital attacks on the children and children they are at year, such tender age they do, are very it fi- they find very, it very difficult to um, find out what is right and what is wrong so we have to be the controlling power for digital thing we should be aware as a responsible parent that we know what the child is doing in the gadget or on the screen and to minimize adversity later on uh, we need to be ready to support our children and digitally be aware because digital is the next thing for the entire world so sooner you make yourself uh, digitally literate explore more things about what all is do- going on in the digital world because then parents come up and say that oh my child is doing this at 11 12 15 years of age and i was not aware he was only engrossed in laptop or mobile phones uh, and he couldn't uh, have done this but the child was actually doing all those mischievous things and notorious things so better be aware of what all is going on in the uh, digital era digital uh, and the mobile the screens and guide the child from the beginning what is right what is wrong in that way and start using youtube kids and the search engine called kiddle instead of google chrome because again google chrome any keyword n number of options are there but uh, youtube kids and kiddle they are specially made for children and trust me more than as an only 6% um, of the population in the world they know about it they are using it otherwise we all are ma- making it mainstream for the youtube and google for our children lastly what is your role just as i mentioned that co watch whenever it is possible be with them choose media wisely what they are want uh, what you want the child to see keep bedtime meal time and family times away from screen 
so the you are spending that quality time with the family which is very important together talking about each other talking about your own routine your own experiences that letting the child speak about his or her own experiences so it is a very comfortable family time it's not just probing and questioning time and limit your own phone usage in front of the children especially so that they don't copy or model that behavior whenever important it is important to use it but wisely and uh, keep it moderate then emphasize the three big uh, things uh, and if they are not they and make it very important that they should it should not be hampered due to the screen that is sleep your the nutrition and exercise the physical environment the physical movement and everything so lastly um, all these things have been told to you and um, just uh, su- let me summarize quickly in 2 minutes know when it's too early not beyond not before 2 years of age because it's really really dangerous when no um to when is it too much monitor content third fourthly separate viewing time from chewing time from uh, the meal time keep screens out of the bedroom so this is all what i had to say about the screen time for the toddlers and um, trust me it is difficult but when we compare it with the earlier world the olden era where the children were just learning through human interactions and physical exposures and uh, the materials they when there were no screens that time was better isn't it because this the children at this particular time they need lot of sensorial inputs sensorial means different textures different um, materials to build on for and uh, go through my post about the schemas of play just observe which schema your child is in try to give more activities uh, reg- related to that schema so that it interests the child for the long for a longer period of time all right and you can um, also when you are doing when you are in the kitchen or when you are um, doing the household chores involve the child with yourself or give some utensils some rice anything a pulses spread a mat underneath and let the child explore and um, do sensorial stuff rather than giving the child the screen and um, doing the the task it is little difficult i agree i admit and um, i um, also uh, my my son also has turned two recently and um, no screen time before two and uh, i tried giving after this as in uh, after two years then i was so startled for 10 minutes the blinking of the eye was hey why and i really regretted it not regretted but the blinking so blinking of the eyes is also very very important so when the child blinks the eye even the adults when we are looking at the screen our blinking rate becomes very less leading to dry eyes later on so uh try to give more of toys or the household items because the children they are interested in anything and everything and know you start observing your child what the child is doing at this particular time so that you go you give better um, things uh, to play with when you are busy and uh, my live on toys especially will be there uh, hopefully next week we you can uh, join that also for more ideas what all you can do to engage the child and make the child more creative and imaginative and because uh, lastly yeah one more thing i would like to add is that uh, boredom leads to creativity so when the child is bored we are over entertaining our children and even ourselves so even we are not even thinking and analyzing stuff even our children they we are not letting them get bored so when the child is not getting bored it is leading to hamp- uh, in hampering the creativity and imagination of a child when the child will not come up with newer ways newer ideas at that particular time when which we can have be more productive at that time so start le- giving the child boring time also so that the child self explores and self create some activities and ideas and invent something on his own the and uh, one more point i forgot which i would like to add on again we have 
televisions in our home and there is something or the other going on in, our, in the televisions like some um, series or news anything so make sure the child is because since the child is a toddler and the child is not even able to articulate much the child is listening everything in the background so sometimes even the toddlers they are becoming uh, very anxious and depressed because some especially this corona time where the news uh, channels have been so depressing the children are listening to everything which is there in the background so be conscious of what your child is hearing and leave the child in the arms of nature and let him play thank you so much for joining in today